Hey everybody, Jacob Godar here. Today we're talking about raising your lawn care prices, the prices in your business. And when should you maybe do that? Should you maybe do it right now? Should you wait till you renew stuff in the off season? That's exactly what this video is going to be about with all the price pressures going on right now in our current economy. This is a video that is going to be really important for you. Before we get into that though, I want to mention the Growcom training is going to be live and super exciting October 14th. We would love Love to have you. We've only got a few seats left and this is going to be a small group of people going over how to grow your business. We're going to have several different live speakers there to help you grow your business, help you shift your mindset, and help you have a super successful 2023. I cannot wait for this event. On top of that, our Growcom training group is going to be opening up on the 20th of this month in September. Very, very exciting. If you're wanting to further your business, further your connection with other people who are like-minded and want to grow, this is a great, great opportunity for you. So let's get right into this video. This is an extremely important topic. I don't know if you know your numbers and I don't know how well you look at those things, but if you do, you know that right now, your margins, your profit, all of this stuff is suffering because all of the raises, all of the inflation, all of the, the shortages, all these different things from gas to one thing to the other, it's getting more expensive to operate your business. And depending on how well you knew your numbers before versus now, if you were honed in on that, you've seen how much that's eroded some of your potential profitability. If you did what we did and raised your prices 10% going into this season, but then realized that inflation was 9%, it's pretty, pretty much eroded all of that. And we had to raise those prices 10% to just be where we're at the previous year before a lot of the stuff continued to even get worse. So what this video boils down to talking about is when do you raise your prices? Do you raise them in season? And my answer to you is I think that a lot of times you raise them, this is going to sound really, really basic, but you raise them when you need to raise them. And a lot of times that plays out in season. We just did in Florida. We raised most prices 15% on a lot of our maintenance contracts. A lot of them were stuff that was estimated when we first started the business and it was just too low. Some of those had to go up even more and we had to shift things and shift the model around to make sure we could continue paying the team the way we want to pay the team, incentivizing them. Uh, and so they realized they have a good place to work with a lot of opportunity. And we made that shift mid-year. For us, there's no contract ending here. It's just continuous. But even for up in our Illinois location, I look at this mid-season raise. It's not that I'm trying to hamstring you to sticking with our business, but we're already operating. You know, I feel like there's so much cloudiness when you're doing like if you do renewals or however you handle it in your business. If it's the off season, you've stopped mowing, then you're going to start back up. And we're going to do this price increase when you've stopped. It seems like it's much easier in the heat of it to raise the price, give everybody a 30 day notice because if they want to find somebody else, they can find somebody else. And then you've already, you already know, you've already got the answer versus it's so much more muddy when you are trying to hire new people and you're starting to prepare for spring. And if you do a price increase, you're probably only going to lose like 5% of the people anyway. But if you do a price increase, it leaves you a lot less sure of what you're going to have versus when you do it in season. So um, I think ultimately you do it when you need to do it. And really most people don't realize that they need to be doing it all the time. I look back at my business and I look at some of the failures I've made. One of the biggest ones is that we weren't just raising our pricing across the board 2% every year. Everything was inflating 2% every year and we weren't raising our price 2% every year. It doesn't make sense to me why I didn't think that that was something that should be done. And you might not think that either. I know a lot of people, I have a friend that uh, a thing of his is he wants to, you know, keep his prices the same as long as possible. And that's great and that's fine. But for me, like everything that I'm doing is based around I want to be able to give more opportunity to our team and our employees and continue to push them up the ladder. And that comes with more money, more pay, more incentives for them. And that means that we have to continue being profitable. And if we're going backwards 2% every year, we are eroding our profit without raising our profit. And we need to at least maintain or try to better in areas so there's more profit to share with the team. So. Raise your prices when you need to. Realize there's probably not a bad time to ever raise your prices. Raise your prices more often than you probably think you should. Know that every year you probably should do some small increase to continue to keep your business 
where it needs to be or at least in line with where it was before. And don't feel guilty about this because doing this allows you to offer a better service to your clients by giving your team more opportunity, continuing to up their living opportunity, their, their job opportunity, everything. And then that all is this one big continuous circle awesome team members with a great opportunity, working hard to serve awesome clients who then potentially pay more and then feed back into awesome team members. And it's just this, it is this ever ending cycle of business. So raise your prices more than you probably think you need to realize that when things are happening like they are right now, that sometimes you got to look at stuff and you've got to be kind of hard nosed about it and just raise it. Like, unfortunately, I know that sucks. Sometimes you bring on a client, they've been with you for four months and you have to raise their price and maybe you misestimated it. And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Like we, we do the best we can with us. It's GPS it's for the, everything's for a client's convenience and the speed. Sometimes you've got to do that. And sometimes you've got to say, we, we just had someone say, Hey, could you kind of like split the difference on that? And unfortunately we can't, there's no difference to split. We can't go to your property and lose money just for the sake of you being happy with our service. That sounds bad and I wish it was different, but we need to be able to go out there and make money so we can serve you and serve everyone else and serve our team. So raising prices, when should you do it? I think these things are very, very important. I think you need to think this over. And I also want to give you the, the strength and the fortitude of mindset to know that you really don't lose anybody when you raise prices anyway. You typically lose a very, very small percent, and then the rest pays you even more that compensates for that. If you lose 5%, the 10% increase on the rest covers all of that five and more. So you're doing less work, making more money, being able to create more opportunity for everyone around you. Leave in the comments below, have you raised your prices either coming into the season, during the season, or are you thinking about raising them for next season?